Bolivia has an extraordinary diversity of landscapes and climates, ranging from the magnificent ice-capped peaks and arid high-altitude deserts of the Andes to the lush rainforests and sweeping savannas of the Amazon basin. This magical landscape is home to a plethora of spectacular sights, including otherworldly salt flats, ancient Incan trails, immense inland lakes, and towering mountains. A landlocked country in the remote center of South America, Bolivia rewards the adventurous tourist by encapsulating everything that outsiders find most exotic and enigmatic about the region. The country's cultural richness and ethnic makeup are remarkable. Three centuries of colonial control have left their mark on the nation's language, religion, and architecture, though this is mostly a veneer covering indigenous cultural traditions that predate the advent of the Spanish. Plaza Murillo, the main square in the old city center, has an endearing country atmosphere, with people feeding pigeons and enjoying ice cream on weekdays and smartly dressed families on weekends. This colonial structure was built of pink sandstone in 1775 and has been restored to its former magnificence in Mestizo and Andean Baroque styles. A magnificent alabaster fountain stands in the middle of a large courtyard surrounded by three stories of columned hallways. The many levels are dedicated to various eras, with a focus on religious themes. Among the most notable pieces are those by Marina Nunez del Prado, one of the most prestigious Latin American sculptors. anthropology enthusiasts should visit the National Museum of Ethnography and Folklore, which is one of the best in the city. Was built in 1720 and was previously the residence of the Marquis of Villa Verde. An impressive collection of ceremonial masks and a display of exquisite textiles from around the country are among the highlights. The Market of Sorcery, or Witch's Market, refers to a collection of kiosks specializing in herbal remedies and Aymara mysticism. The stalls are packed with ritual and medicinal items, ranging from herbal cures to incense, colorful sweets, and protective talismans. The Basilica of San Francisco is the most beautiful colonial church in La Paz. The first building was erected in 1549 as the headquarters of the Franciscans' attempt to Christianize Upper Peru, but it collapsed in the early 17th century due to excessive snowfall. The Valley of Souls is a dense forest of rock formations, each rising into the sky in huge clusters formed over hundreds of years by erosion. When visitors first came to this valley, they thought the towers looked like petrified souls, hence the name. El Alto, located on the edge of the Altiplano overlooking La Paz, is occupied mostly by Aymara immigrants. It became the fourth largest city in Bolivia after it was established as a distinct municipality from La Paz in 1986. The Aurora Carnival is the most magnificent carnival in Bolivia. Thousands of costumed dancers march through Aurora during the week-long festival of the holy and the profane, which mixes Christian beliefs with Andean tradition. The patron saint of Aurora, the Virgin of Sokhaven, is a colossal monument, measuring 32 meters high and can be seen from almost every place in this Bolivian mining community. The Christ of Concord, a huge figure of Christ with outstretched arms that dominates the city, is located at the top of the Serenia de San Pedro.
Gillespie who in his salt flats are not a lake in the traditional sense, but while it is mostly saturated with water below the surface, its uppermost layer is made up of a thick, hard crust of salt that can easily support the weight of a car. The rugged, forbidding terrain makes it easy to assume you are on another planet as you drive across this completely flat white plain, with unbroken chains of snow-capped mountains lining the distant horizon. The lagoon gets its strange red color from the natural colors of the algae that thrive in its shallow, mineral-laden waters and which vary in intensity throughout the day. These algae are also an important food source for flamingos, which nest here in large numbers. Seventy kilometers from Santa Cruz de la Sierra, there are four impressive crystal clear waterfalls of 85 and 100 meters in an extraordinary natural setting. In addition to observing wild animals and lush natural flora, you can walk along interesting ecological trails. The ancient ruined city of Tiwanaku, located 3,872 meters above sea level, is one of the most remarkable archaeological sites in South America. At its peak it housed some 50,000 people. Its great pyramids and opulent palaces were painted in bright colors and inlaid with gold. Copacabana is a small town frequented by backpackers as it is the main starting point for visiting the two sacred islands of Lake Titicaca. Bolivia is one of the most unique and interesting nations in South America, it is exceptional in its natural beauty. Harsh, bewildering, complex and a little stressful. Bolivians love parades, and hardly a month goes by without a procession of people dressed in colorful costumes commemorating an important historical occasion or divinity. Learn about the history and culture of the country's indigenous people by visiting several renowned museums and through observing traditions and rituals in everyday life as well as food. Bolivian cuisine is as diverse as its people, and there are new culinary specialties to try in every city. Markets are a fantastic place to start, and although sizzling pots of strange concoctions may put you off, freshly blended fruit drinks will certainly become a habit after your visit to Bolivia.